Hello team and welcome back to the channel. So before starting the video, small request, please subscribe to the channel. We upload videos on daily basis at 9 am in the morning. Also, I am running a new series on DevOps. You can see on the screen. Uh, currently, we are on day 4. So I am running a series 30 days of DevOps where I will try to cover most important topics in DevOps in 30 days. Okay. So I am not saying that this course will make you the best, uh, best DevOps engineer in the world. But I am definitely sure that once you complete this course and implement whatever I am showing you side by side, then definitely you will become a very knowledgeable, knowledgeable person in DevOps field. Okay. And then you will be able to crack good interviews uh, very easily. But again, like uh, not everything will come to you directly. Even you need to pay like uh, put your own effort and practice a little bit more. Okay. Okay. So I hope you are practicing and I hope you are watching videos regularly without sp skipping everything because we are going to include previous video resources in coming videos. Okay. So basically we are going to integrate a each video tutorial with the new video. Okay. Okay. So as you remember, yesterday we studied Jenkins and next video is on sonar cube. So in sonar cube, we will be integrating with Jenkins. Okay. Okay. So now coming to today's topic today, since this was one of the most requested video on my channel. So recently I created my GitHub readme profile page. As you can see, this is my profile page. Okay. Which looks uh, quite good. Uh, like profile views is here, profile views counter, then like uh, my social, social media is here, then languages, which I have worked on, then basic like uh, uh, GitHub stats on my channel. Okay. Sorry on my GitHub account, then top contributed repo. And this is one of the animation, which is quite like very interesting looking. It's like a snake game animation. Okay. So you can see this basically what it does. It goes through all the commits, uh, consider them as food and eats them out. Okay. So what I want to show you in today's video, how to make this, even I'm not saying that you should make exactly same as this one, but instead you should use your own like uh, customization capability and like uh, do a little bit of uh, mix up of various things and make your own. Okay. But what I'm going to do is guide you how can get started, how can uh, like you can start making your GitHub profile readme file. Okay. And the reason that I want you to make it because like at this point, if you are a fresher or experienced, uh, whenever you are like going for interviews or whenever like uh, uh, you are giving your resume to someone, it's, it's very necessary that you should mention your GitHub account also at this point. Okay. And if you are mentioning, if they are opening your GitHub account, the first thing that they will see is this profile page okay and that's that puts a really good impact on your uh, like as uh, on you as a candidate for interviews okay so for that reason i would really suggest that start committing things start pushing uh, projects in your repository and make sure to you uh, make sure that you are also making a very nice profile me page okay okay so how to get started okay so first thing that you need to do is uh, first of all go to this link rahul dkjn okay so what this this uh, this project uh, this uh, website does it will give you a template sort of thing where you can fill your details okay so you can see like uh, similar details what what i have here are uh, there only but uh, see my my profile is little bit bit different and i will guide you like how you can make it, make your own okay how you can customize things okay but for starters like first you need to generate a template for yourself which you can later customize okay so like uh, you can like provide the details like currently working on this and that so and so these details you can fill out without any help okay so once you have completed this then wh what you can do you can like select the uh, like uh, programming languages which you have worked on or which you are willing to work something something okay same for like front-end development then whatever and then we have back-end development also so whichever you have worked on which you have experience or you are willing to learn those things you can just mention here okay so let's add a few things and see even these are like separate categories which are which is really good ai slash ml also is there whichever you want you can just generate database and everything whatever you want you can like select those things then data visualization also i have selected grafana devops these tools i have selected backend as service nothing i have selected as of now okay so these things so many like categorized option is there which you can select based on your like choosing okay 
so once they have you have done that then you can go here and here you need to provide your social media handles okay for example i have just provided uh, github and uh, sorry uh, instagram I, i think linkedin okay but you have if other social media also you can just provide them here okay scroll down and again here you can select which add-ons you want like this one display visitors count batch this is uh, like this will show you for example if i add it it will show you how many times my profile was visited okay and then we have github uh, github trophy so i have not added it because see also adding too much things in your profile now it will make it little bit messy and that is also not so good so we need what we need to make sure that we are making our profile uh, profile read me page simple plus elegant okay to make sure that it looks very nice as as well as like very clear and like a, uh, uh, very easy right okay so these many things are uh, optional here which you can add so for me i just added like these four things okay then we have this one uh, like buy me a coffee these links if you want you can generate okay so this much is done okay so if we can click on generate read me uh, let it generate See, it has generated the readme file if i go to preview yeah see this is this is the proper format and everything is done and you got the uh, like that you uh, readme file okay but just to preview we can click on preview and here you can see how it will be looking okay and you can see how pretty it is looking at, at this point right and this is the first thing that you should do a very simple thing you could you can this is basically generating a template for yourself okay and see i am saying it very clearly when you are going to start do not copy any anyone else's uh, readme file first start from here first generate a template for yourself okay so okay it's gone let me just generate it again okay so yeah so once this is generated what you need to do you need to go to your uh, repository and you need to create a new repository you need to click on a new repository and here the name of the repository that you want to provide is the same name as your username okay you can see my username is jaswal adi 246 same name i need to provide here the reason for that is like we want this page to be vis uh, visible as soon as any person vis visits our our account right so for that to happen we need to make sure that the, this repository name should be same as our username okay if i go back to my repositories go to your profile see the reason that it is coming first here because this repository is say is having the same name as my username uh, where is it yeah see you can see here this all are this it's the repository name is same as my username okay so yeah you can see here if i want to access the repository this is the repository name okay so let's say once we have done that okay okay now next thing what you can do you can open my own like mine okay and click on edit okay now what you need to do you need to like uh, maybe what you can do um, let me open it in two pages this is mine and i will go to preview yeah okay okay so next what we need to do let's say that i want to put a banner okay as of now in this one where is preview there yeah one second generate read me because see uh, it's not showing uh, yeah preview is here okay okay so let's say like i want to put a banner and i want to provide it a little bit detail so how i am doing that if i go here see after first line first line is this one second line we have a banner okay so you can see here in second line what i have done i have put an url of a uh, image okay and this image is basically on my repository only so you can uh, push the image on your repository and provide the url so to configure url what you need to do you need to copy till like this one but make sure this username is yours okay slash this one and the path of uh, banner okay if i show you where is the banner let me go here go to here and you can see it is on root directory only so i have just provided the a uh, slash main slash banner name okay and this is done so this past pa part is done next we have this little bit detail whatever you want you can put so for putting this you can see in what format i have put right okay next what we have 
is this one this image okay this image can be other images also whichever you want you can put for me it was like looking nice so i just put it here so to put this image here you can copy this line okay this is the gif file gif file okay okay next what we have is let us go back here yeah next we have profile views okay so for profile views we need to use this line you can just copy and paste it but again remember like whatever uh, if you are pasting it from uh, uh, my repository you need to change this one change the username basically okay everywhere uh, the best way that what you can do if you want to like copy whole thing and ch uh, customize it you can uh, click on like control search as uh, sorry control f search for the uh, like uh, this usernames and replace it with your own okay next you can just copy this much and here you can provide your own details like uh, whatever you are working on currently what you are learning what you, uh, like all your projects are available where those kind of things you can fill okay so how much we have done yeah till this much we done right next we have the social media so you can copy this much and here wherever like it is see there are urls this is instagram url okay then we have uh, where is it Mm. see then we have youtube url see these uh, three urls i have as of now so if you click on them you will like uh, it will take you to those social media but what you need to do is rem like provide your own urls okay that's how it will be done okay next what we have languages so languages i see i said now the template that we are going to generate will be from this site okay and you can see in this format template will be generated and this much will be generated from the template itself okay okay next what i want to do is stop contributed repo now in this uh, this uh, readme file it is not there so for that you can take help from my thing okay so you can copy this one but again you need to replace the jaiswala the 246 okay username okay okay next finally the most uh, pleasing thing is the snake animation which is using the uh, github actions okay so for con like uh, this uh, sorry for uh, like uh, configuring this using github actions so that it gets updated every day okay what you need to do let me show you first of all you need to paste this much here but again make sure username is your own cheswala246 that is my but you need to put your own okay so once you have done that what you need to do you need to go to actions okay and here you need to click on workflow new workflow okay and you can just click on simple workflow okay now what you need to do you need to remove all of them remove completely remove this okay and you need to copy whatever i'm showing you now you can just uh, go to my repository go to main.yaml and completely copy this but uh, like make sure that username again you need to put yours not mine okay so what it does now it executes every 12 hour and that uh, snake animation gets updated within new commits whatever i'm doing okay so you can just uh, like set this and once this is set you can like commit changes and then you can uh, run it okay since it is already saved in my repo so i cannot show you uh, to run but i guess like you already know how to run once you save it now you can just uh, run it okay but one problem you will be getting when you try to run the problem is like the access permission so to fix that you need to go to settings then actions then general and here you need to click on allow all actions and reusable workflows okay you need to click on this and click on save okay yeah so this much you need to do once you have done then a, like uh, everything will be configured and then this will be uh, up getting updated every 12 hours okay okay so this is pretty much like you how you will uh, create your uh, readme profile okay and this is how easily i have created and you can see it looks pretty good right okay now what i want you to do is like create your own customize it and push uh, like put it on linkedin or somewhere okay make sure to tag me also i'll be happy happy to reply happy to reply okay and if you want you can share my videos also for others so that they can also do that okay so what uh, other thing that i want to show you now this website i will put it put it in the description also so you can use this okay next what i want i want you to analyze some other uh, like repositories like this person the piyush mishra shout out to him so 
you can see he has a gif animation which looks like really amazing for me at least so if you want to use that you can again click on edit okay we need to fork it so we don't want that as of now so we will open the readme file and click on code okay and here you can see whatever code you want it's already here so you can use it from here okay so you can just uh, note down this uh, username okay and then we have this person uh, gapur kasim i don't know if i am pronouncing right see here it looks very nice because this hand animation is like uh, moving so this is looking nice and these things you can configure from here okay so this is also nice just note down the username so that you can take a reference from it okay then this was i'm not sure okay yeah this one also was also looking nice this if you want dark uh, dark color this uh, this th these details github stats then you can refer this guy's uh, readme page if i open and let's see the code readme.tmd code yeah so from here you can get the code you can you just need to copy paste and everywhere now what you need to do make sure that you are replacing the username of your uh, username of the person by your own username okay then we have one more this is also looking very really good like github stats this is also uh, dark format okay so this also you can use okay yeah so that's pretty much about this video and i hope you can see you can just go ahead uh, take it like uh, open my readme file click on code and then you can like copy paste side by side viewing and everything like you will understand once you start doing now you uh, once you start customizing thing you will understand how it works okay you just need to fill details and like replace uh, usernames that's all it's very easy actually okay so do it and if it works fine just let me know you can put the uh, put the screenshot uh, put a screen uh, screen recorded video of your own get a profile readme file put it on linkedin tag me i'll be happy okay yeah so just one last time let me show you it looks really good okay yeah so thanks for watching and have a nice day